Okay, guys. I'm going to show you my EDC bag and get into my EDC philosophy a little bit. Uh, again, this is my EDC bag. It's something I'm carrying with me every day. Uh, so what you're not going to find in this bag is you're not going to find things like life straws, fire starters, uh, survival gear. You're not going to find that in here. It's just a bag, just the stuff I'm going to carry around with me every day. Stuff I use at least, if, if I don't use it once a week or twice, once every two weeks, there's really no need for me to carry it because it's not something I'm gonna, that I need. Uh, so let me get into it. Let me show you what I got. First of all, the bag itself, it's a 511 uh, Moab 10. It's a sling bag, single strap. Uh, some guys like them, some guys don't. They feel like it's a lot of weight to put on one shoulder. Uh, again, I am not loading it up with stuff, and you'll see that in a second. Uh, so let me show you what I got. I have over here on the side, I have a Condor grenade pouch. Holds a compass. Do I use a compass every day? No. Do I use it once a month? Uh, maybe. I just got this, and uh, me and my boys play with it. So it's a little fun little call it toy to have on me uh, when we're out at about at grandma's house and there's nothing to do we'll pull this out and they'll go uh, learn how to use a compass or something so it's the only reason it's on me now otherwise it would be in my car bag condor gadget pouch uh, there's a million reviews on this inside front cover dental floss use it every day Inside. Okay, what do we got? I got some O-rings. They're from my wallet. I'll show you those later. Thumb drive. Uh, micro USB to USB cord, so I can charge my phone or any other electronic device I might have on me. An adapter, so I can put a thumb drive in here and plug this in on my phone. So I can have all my music or something loaded on a thumb drive rather than take up the space on my phone. Or if I have documents or photos or something I want to look at on my phone, I can just plug it in. Really handy. It's like two bucks on Amazon. A couple batteries for flashlights. Chapstick. Uh, use it. I, I go through a couple of these a month, so yeah, that gets used. Microfiber cloth for cleaning glasses. A pair of tweezers. Carry these with you. It's cheap and oh, so handy. And uh, some fingernail clippers. Got some night eyes. Uh, I don't know what you want to call these. We'll call them wire bends or something. They're great if you want to just saddle your cell phone in and watch a video or something. Or holding the flashlight. They're great. Uh, lighter. Again, it's not for here in here for survival. It's just one of those things you'll never know when you'll need a lighter. Uh, I actually use it quite a bit. And I don't smoke. I think that's it. Alright. Um, this is an Expedition TC1. I've done videos on this in the past, review of it. It's a big pouch, wasn't quite sure what I was going to use it for, so I had it on my car bag with some stuff in it. Uh, but I got a new toy, and it kind of fits in there kind of nice. Uh, Nightcore P16 tactical flashlight. Thing's great, got a couple different strobes on it, really bright. Uh, Nice. It's you should always carry a flashlight in your bag. Power outages happen all the time. Uh, if you get stranded, your car breaks down or something, you're on the side of the road. Something to have for a signal would be great. So always carry a flashlight with you. It doesn't have to be a super bright one, just something that people can see you with. This is a backpack. Uh, poncho, more or less. The uh, bag's not waterproof. I got this off Amazon for, I think, a buck. Uh, it opens up, covers up the whole bag, so if it's raining out, you're outside hiking or walking home from someplace, your electronics won't get wet or anything in your bag won't get wet. 
on this side of the bag, we've got a keychain holder, or I use that as a keychain holder, and hand sanitizer. Man, going to the gas station, grabbing those pump handles has got to be the grossest thing. I use this every time I go to the gas station. Anytime I go to like Dunkin' Donuts right before I put food in my mouth or anything. Just, well, I don't know why you wouldn't. Get into the front pouch here. A uh, little vial of some uh, aspirin Tylenol. Field notes. If you want to write down some quick information. Um, Sharpie. A uh, pen to do that with. Uh, this is a strap for the bag, so it goes across from the single strap around your waist. Uh, so it keeps the bag from swinging around, or if you like bend over with a sling bag on, the tendency is for the bag to swing in front of you. This will prevent that. So if you're going to be out hiking or something, it's pretty useful. Uh, I got some earphones. Use these every single day uh, with my telephone. This little guy, I've used it, actually just got it recently uh, for my birthday. My wife picked it up on Amazon. Uh, it's got some different rat, uh, not ratchets, but some different nut sizes in it. Bottle opener. I've actually used this quite a bit. I think this is like five bucks. Uh, probably a little pricey for what it is, even at five bucks, but it's different. Uh, the Moab uh, 10 has a... Um, 10 or 12, I forget. In any case, it has a, uh, a concealed carry pouch in it. And in that, I carry pepper spray. And my Kershaw knife. Now, why do I carry this in the bag? Well, one, I don't want to have it on a pouch on the outside of the bag. I don't want, you know, the bag itself draws enough attention. I don't want to have this in there. That's definitely a draw t attention, especially to law enforcement. Uh, I'm not going to use it for any malicious intent, but you just don't want to draw the attention. So I keep it in the pouch. Uh, it's easy to get to if I'm going to go in a store or someplace where I'm going to be walking around or anything could happen. Now take this out and put it in my pocket so it's readily available. It's not going to do you a whole lot of good in the bag. And then a knife, just an everyday knife. I'll use a knife for whatever. And in the main pouch. Smog use this all the time. Uh, I work in a pretty hot shop, and uh, you know, wet this down, wrap it around your head, neck in the winter, summertime, keeps you cool. In the winter time, it's a great scarf. I use I use this all winter rather than one of those big knit wool scarves or something. It works just as good. A lot, lot thinner, a lot lighter. Takes up a lot less space. From time to time, from going out with my kids, I'll have a uh, first aid kit in here. I don't carry it all the time, not for myself. Uh, probably should, but, you know, I usually, it's more for them. The strap behind the sunglass pouch, a lot of people don't, a lot of guys don't know about it. Uh, for this bag, but I use it to put keys on. And then in the front cover, I just got some work gloves in here. Uh, this is a great thing to have on you. I, you, you when, when you carry these, you end up using them all the time. When you don't have them, you think, ah, I don't need those, but... Once you have them, you find out how much you really do. So that's it. That's my bag. Now you'll see there's not a whole lot of stuff in there. Why do I have all these pouches when everything would fit in the bag, fit in all these little compartments, and not take up any, and not you know, not take up a whole lot of space? Well, it's actually not that deep a bag. Bag I think it's like six or seven inches deep. And I want the space available if I'm out and about and I pick something up, I don't want to carry it, I want to have room in the bag to put it. All this stuff is going to take up a little room. It's small stuff, but it all adds up. Uh, all the stuff in these pouches are easily accessible. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I want the space available in the bag. I want to be able to have this stuff with me, but I want the space. Uh, I could get a big backpack, and I do have one, where I could put all the stuff inside and still have the space, but I don't want to carry all the extra weight of a heavier backpack. This is perfect for getting around town, going to work, putting your lunch in, anything like that. This is a great size bag. Uh, I, like I said, I've got I've got a couple different ones, and this is the one I use every day because it's the right size. Um, again, it is an EDC bag, 
every day I'm taking this with me. I can't imagine carrying a bag around me. I see some of the EDC bags get EDC bags some guys have. They gotta be weighing in 25, 30 pounds. That's a lot of weight to be lugging around uh, for stuff that you may need. You hopefully won't need. You like, but uh, like I, I can't see carrying around a life straw in my bag. I can't see carrying around um, extra snacks and food in this bag. I do have stuff like that in my get home bag in my car, but even that is not a typical get home bag. Uh, so this is my bag. Any questions or comments, uh, let me know. I will do some reviews on some of the other things I've gotten lately. Uh, but if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, this is my second video. I know there's still a lot of ums and ahs in there, but hit me up with any questions. Thanks.